Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Wi-Fi Wednesday. Apologies for getting started just a few minutes late, and also apologies for still not getting that Zoom uh, issue fixed. We're going to be uh, sending off a new invitation for Zoom, so you can join us directly on that or on Facebook Live. Uh, as you may hear, I'm a little stuffed up. I came across a nasty sinus infection after my uh, holiday. I must have picked it up on the plane or something. I've been pretty much out of commission uh, most of the week. So don't have too much to personally share with you this week, but uh, those who missed last week, let me just fill you in on what was big for us and for you guys, I should say. Um, we're now official Meraki partners. That means our direct integration now allows you to connect any Meraki access point or network directly to the MyWiFi platform by simply pasting an API key. So that helps, um, you know, the, really the sale that you make is you find locations, large retail locations, uh, even small uh, retail locations and restaurants, a lot of people use Cisco Meraki. Um, you can find that out. In fact, when you go to a Wi-Fi location, uh, you can use an app. It's called Net Analyzer. I'm going to share it with you. I actually recently did this on my vacation um, where most of the networks I connected to, I took this Net Analyzer app. And let me just show, share this on screen with you guys so you see what I'm talking about. So this is what the Network Analyzer app is. It's available on the App Store uh, for iPhone and on Android. And anytime you go to a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can connect to the network, and then there's some tools that you can use to find out the manufacturer, to do a quick scan even on the network to see how many people are connected to it right there and then. And uh, I use this actually a lot to see um, exactly what hardware people are using. And I hope they have a screen here. If not, I can personally share, uh, share one of the screens that I've taken on my phone. Um, but basically it says like right there, like Cisco Meraki or Aruba Networks or Ubiquity. And you know there and then, like if you're out of business, you go to the business owner, you say, look, I have software that integrates directly with the hardware that I know you're already using. This will allow you, and this is where, you know, this is where this comes in. This will allow you to connect TripAdvisor to, if you use Square, it'll connect your Square data. Um, you can also charge for Wi-Fi with Stripe, or you can use any other integration. Like if you guys use HubSpot or ActiveCampaign or uh, Salesforce, we can now capture all of this Wi-Fi data and send it directly. So that works obviously with Meraki, but it also works with all of our new OpenWRT firmware. So now we support a ton of new devices that are available for sale on Amazon, on Best Buy, uh, Staples, you know, any local electronic store has a lot of these devices that we currently have firmware for. And you can very easily uh, install our firmware on that device and then use that device on site for your application. Uh, we also have everything in multi-language. We're actually about to launch uh, some more multi-language features. We've uh, translated the entire campaign editor and other areas of the entire platform uh, are now available in English, Spanish, and French. Uh, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, is coming later this week. And I'm going to keep an eye in the Facebook group. We have a vote, uh, quick vote on what language is next. Um, we're ultimately going to add all of them, but as to prioritize them, please vote there and let me know what language is important to you. And this is for the entire dashboard. Keep in mind that the, the capture portal and the whole campaign um, login experience is already available in almost 30 languages. This is more for the dashboard. If you have clients that speak a specific language that we don't currently support, um, vote in the Facebook group and we'll do our best to prioritize that. There we go. That's a call to action to go vote in the group. And if you guys have any questions, please contact support at wifi support.com or right inside the dashboard. Chat with us there. Um, we're available there, and we also have a ton of support articles that we always update. So if you saw a support article previously and we added a new feature, go back because we always update those articles, and there's always something new. If we have something new, it will always be documentation there to show you exactly how to use it. Okay, once my voice clears up, I have a ton of an agenda to share with you guys, we have Zapier automation training in the, in the works, or like on basically uh, on, on deck. Uh, as soon as I sound better, I don't want to record video, that much video with my voice like this. Uh, but that being said, we have Zapier training, we have all of our presentations. I'm going to personally walk through and present them to you, and then present you with audio files that you can take, uh, basically the whole video of me talking with a transcript that you can then take and record in your own voice, or it hire somebody else to do it if you're not confident with using your own voice. But I always recommend, you know, just sitting in front and getting a, a headset and just recording a presentation and sending that to all your clients because that's going to do a lot of the sales for you. So I'm going to go do a lot of training on how to do that, training to how to run your own webinars, training how to recruit other large agencies, recruit MSPs, um, how to find out like little strategy I showed you here about using this app. 
um, on location, the Network Analyzer app, and I will share this in the Facebook group. Um, this Using this app and other tools to really drill down and find out exactly, hey, who do you want to target? Who are you best at? Like, what does your agency or MSP stand for? And how do you find more clients like that? And how do you hook them by leveraging the hardware that they're already using to uh, really limit the friction of getting started? Aside from that, for those who don't have hardware, we do have the SH50 available in our store. We actually, I should mention, uh, did some tweaks on the firmware with that. So we now support up to 30 simultaneous users, 3-0 uh, with that. Uh, again, that's all based on traffic. So if you have a bunch of people downloading uh, Snapchat or you know, streaming on YouTube, um, depending on your internet speed, there will be some bogging down. You might experience some slower than normal speeds if you have everybody maxing it out on a slow internet connection. But if you plug a really fast internet connection to one of these devices, you have know, everybody doing standard streaming and standard web browsing. We've tested this and we've hit up to 25, 30 people, no problem. So uh, that's the SH50. And we are coming out with a new device, which is much more powerful, that will be able to be, I would say, five times uh, the strength of that. And uh, that's really going to be more of the hub that you'll place into larger locations that require it. And I do want to stress a lot of people that do deal with restaurants or bars or nightclubs even, the SH50 is great for the purpose of offering free Wi-Fi. And I would always recommend starting with one of those. If one is not enough, you can always add more at a location. So I have three or four. You're also capturing presence data with every single one of those. So you can see how many people uh, are in the front versus how many people are in the back of a specific location. All that data is very valuable for the business owner. So uh, again, I'll be doing training and all that. Um, it's all currently available now. I think there's a gap, however, of, of everyone understanding exactly how to leverage that and how to turn that into value for your clients. So uh, anything that you want me to uh, discuss or train on, go to feedback.mywifi.io. Right inside there, you'll see uh, marketing materials. The academy is where we're going to vote for some training, and I'll be happy to do that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Can't do too much talking these days, but I appreciate your time. Appreciate you joining in, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.